Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss on VIP questions for chapter 2, capacitor and dielectric. For questions number 1, three capacitors, each of the capacitors C are given. The resultant capacitance of 2 over 3 C can be obtained by using them. Okay, so how can we obtain C effective 2 over 3 C? Okay, so the first one, of course, we must connect the capacitor in parallel first. Okay, after that, we connect it in series. Okay, so if we calculate, okay, C1, C2, C3. Okay, so if we calculate C1 and C2 in parallel, so we will get C12 is equal to C1 plus C2, where we will get C plus C, we will get 2C. Okay, after find C12, okay, we will get C12 and C3 connected in series. Okay, so we will do it in series where C effective is equal to 1 over C12 plus 1 over C3. Okay, therefore 1 over C effective is equal to 1 over 2C plus 1 over C. Okay, so finally C effective or the C total we will get 2 over 3C. Okay, so the answer here is C. Okay, 2 in parallel and the third in series with this combination. So the answer is C. Question number 2. The capacitance of the capacitor if the potential difference is 10 volt and the charge torque is 10 millicoulomb. Okay, so we know that from the equation Q equals to CV. Okay, we want to find C. Therefore, C is equal to Q over V where Q is equal to 10 millicoulomb and the potential difference is equal to 10 volt. Okay, so 10 and 10 we can cancel. Therefore, the answer is 1 exponent negative 3 farad. So the answer here is C. Next question number 3. If a parallel plate capacitor of the plate area is 2 meters square, the plate separation is 1 meter. 1.77 exponent negative 11 coulomb. What is the voltage across the capacitor? Okay, so our C is equal to epsilon naught, epsilon R A over D. Okay, so we substitute epsilon naught is 8.85 exponent negative 12. And then our dielectric constant, because here the separation uh, does not mention that it's a dielectric, so it's equal to 1. Area is 2. And the split separation is 1 meter. Therefore, we will get 1.77 exponent negative 11 farad okay so we want to find v eh? q equals to cv therefore our v will equal to q over c so q is the charge 1.77 exponent negative 11 and c is the capacitance we also get 1.77 exponent negative 11 therefore the potential difference across the capacitor is equal to 1 volt answer is a Okay, next we go to question number 4. A parallel plate of a capacitor has the area of 0.5 mm square and the separation by the distance of 0.3 cm. Determine the capacitance of the capacitor if the dielectric with the constant 2.3 is inserted between the plates. Okay, so now we want to find C where C is equal to epsilon naught, epsilon R, A over D. Okay, so we substitute epsilon naught is 8.85 exponent negative 12. The electric constant is given 2.3 and the area is 0.5 millimeter squared. Okay, so millimeter is negative 3. After we square, we will get negative 6. And the plate separation is 0.3 cm. So I will convert it into meter. 3.4 exponent negative 15 farad. So the answer here is D. Next, we go to question number 5. Four capacitors are connected. C1 is 2 microfarad, C2 is 3 microfarad, C3 is 4 microfarad, and C4 is 5 microfarad. Find the equivalent capacitance between A and B. Okay, so A and B here, okay, we want to find what is the equivalent capacitance. Okay, so if let's say we draw, okay, the diagram actually we should draw in this way, okay, where we have a okay after that a is connected with c1 and c2 c3 c4 are connected in series 
okay c2 c3 and c4 so first step what should we do is we must find c2 c3 c4 first huh? in uh, connected in series so 1 over c2 3 4 is equal to 1 over c2 plus 1 over c3 plus 1 over c4 till 1 over 3 micro plus c3 is 1 over 4 micro plus c4 is 1 over 5 micro therefore c2 3 4 we will get 60 over 47 microfarad okay so after we find the value for c234 okay we will simplify it become c234 this is c1 okay so this is b this is a okay so later we will do it parallel okay where parallel or c effective is equal to c1 plus c234 okay so c1 is equal to 2 micro and C234 is 60 over 47 micro. Therefore, the C effective is equal to 3.27 microfarad. So the answer here is D. Okay, the last question, question number six. A 100 microfarad capacitor is charged to a potential difference of 6 volt. Okay, so after that, the battery is taken out from the circuit and connected with 1.5 mega ohm resistor. Determine the initial charge and also initial current. Okay, so now we have the capacitor is 110 microfarad and it's connected with a potential difference of 6 volt. Okay, so this is uh, before the battery take out. Okay, so we know that the initial charge Q0 is equal to CV. Okay, where C is 110 micro and V is equal to 6 volt. Therefore, we will get 600 and 60 micro coulomb okay or is equals to 6.6 .6 exponent negative 4 coulomb okay okay next we want to find the initial current okay initial the initial current we can use v equals to ir to find where v is equals to 6 volt and r is equals to 1.5 mega ohm therefore our i is equals to 6 over 1.5 exponent 6 okay so we will get for exponent negative 6 ampere okay so the answer here is a okay so that's all for vip question chapter 2 okay please click on the next video we will continue with the vip questions for chapter 3 see you on the next video bye